Hello, I'm Mark Pasternak of Devil's Gulch Ranch. Here at the ranch we raise rabbits, pigs, sheep, wine grapes, and we do educational programs for youth around agriculture and nature. Um, I'm going to bone out this rabbit for you so you can see uh, at least how I do it. There's a lot of different ways uh, not only to skin cats but bone rabbits. So I usually will start by taking off the four legs the front legs are pretty easy and they're not attached very hard so you just sort of find the spot to cut them off. The rear ones do have an articulated joint there that you got to kind of find. I peel it back and cut the rear leg off. Here's the other rear leg coming off. Now different chefs and or butchers have different ideas about some of this stuff depending on ultimately what you're going to do with it. If you're going to put the leg on a plate there is a, a some people leave the the top part of it on the uh, the main part of the carcass and it makes a little neater look but I'm going to bone these out anyway so it doesn't matter. The front leg again comes off fairly easily okay now Good quality rabbit's going to have a nice, even colored liver, and the kidneys are inside here. Uh, this rabbit has a lot of fat on it. It's a bigger rabbit, which is uh, what I prefer for, for what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a roulade out of it. The kidneys are here. I'm going to remove those. You can use those in the roulade. Uh, some people do. I'm not going to in this case, uh, but I have in the past. It just depends on if you want that uh, that as part of your flavor component or not. So I'm, I'm just removing them out of the cavity. It's very similar to a chicken. This one has a, a nice big chunk of fat here which is good for what we're doing. That's the kidney. This is the liver. See how nice and big that is? Even colored. No spots. The, the bile ducts have been removed at slaughter. Uh, which is important because they will give the, the meat an off flavor. Here's the other kidney with a bunch of fat. I'm taking that out. And that's, you can see the other kidney there again too. Now I've taken these kidneys off and you can skewer them right over a barbecue. They work great. Okay, so we've got the two belly flaps here left and the front cavity with the uh, ribs and I'm going to just spread it out like that and for what I'm going to do making the roulade I'm going to try to bone it all the way out in one piece so you start cutting down the back and you're trying to using the tip of the knife to find the backbone and follow that down slicing out the loin. There's this loin and then I'm just turning the knife, turning the knife like that to follow the ribs down, follow the bones down, all the way up. I'm going to do one entire piece all the way up to the neck and I'm going to just pull, slice off all the meat right off of the shoulder and the chest. So I'm, I'm laying the blade on the ribs and just teasing the meat off the bones, slicing it, slicing it, watching my fingers, and getting to right about there, making sure I didn't get any bones in it. And what you have is half a rabbit. Okay, this is the loin through here, all the way from the shoulder, all the way back. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, and so you end up with the bone left. Now, underneath on a big rabbit like this, you've got the tenderloin, and it's quite useful. Quite a bit of meat on a big guy like this. On a little rabbit, it's not so much. That's the tenderloin, and I'm going to put that in the roulade also. First, I'm going to bone out the two rear legs. Now, the two front legs, I generally disarticulate. You can actually barbecue them if you want. 
This is the upper part of the front leg and the drumstick or lower part. Um, you can do the same thing with the other one. And I usually cook them separate. They're not really worth trying to bone out. There's not that much meat on them. It takes a long time. Now, I will do the same thing with the lower part, the drumstick of the rear leg. Pick it apart. Okay, and I will cook that with those. The rest of this, the thigh, which has got quite a bit of meat, I'll find the bone that runs up there, follow it down with the knife, and they are a little bit tricky when you get up into the, the upper part of the thigh. They're a little more complicated than the chicken, but not too bad. And you follow, again, follow the bones out, being careful of your fingers. And end up with a nice chunk of the dark meat. That's half of the thigh. And we'll get the other half. Now, rabbits are high quality protein. The other thing about rabbits is you don't need to feed them anything that competes with humans for food. So particularly in, for instance, a developing country, that's important. We are working in Haiti to teach them about rabbit production. We've got various projects in a lot of villages that has been very successful and we're trying to build on that. We've got a number of the UN and a number of other organizations that are looking at what we're doing with the possibility of partnering with us to encourage and increase that uh, with, the, with the folks there in, in Haiti. So here I've got the, the thighs boned out. I'm gonna cut this up. I'm gonna chop it up. And then what I do is I mix it with, in this case, mustard and Aleppo peppers. Uh, Aleppo peppers are a fairly sweet, reasonably mild pepper that is from the Middle East. I'm going to dice this up and chop it up so that it's finely chopped in order to make sure that it's tender and fully cooked when we're done. Okay, now I'm going to use Aleppo pepper and uh, gray poo poo mustard. Uh, you can use whatever you feel like. It really doesn't, you know, there's, there's lots of possibilities for uh, mixing with the stuff in the middle or just salt and pepper. The Aleppo pepper is a Middle Eastern, fairly sweet, fairly mild pepper. So you can use a fair bit of it without it getting overly spicy. So we'll mix this up. And we have rabbit, mustard, and Aleppo peppers. I'm gonna add a little, well, a bit of mess here. Okay, so I'm gonna switch these cutting boards so that I have this one with the prosciutto. And I'm going to make the roll with the prosciutto on the outside. So I take the two halves of the rabbit. I'm gonna put them in the middle. Okay, and then I'm gonna run this, use the chopped up rabbit and mustard and put it in the middle. And then I'm going to attempt to roll it all. So first I'll run the flaps up hopefully. I'm going to run the prosciutto up. Come on, come on. There we go. Beautiful. And that is essentially what it looks like. Uh, you don't need to use toothpicks. You can leave it like that and then get it into 
a casserole. Hopefully it stays together. Yeah. A big one like that I might cook for an hour. I might lay some tin foil over the top, loose, not tight, just to kind of keep the heat and the moisture in a little bit. Uh, and there you have at least my version of a rabbit roulade. If you folks are interested, go to our website. There's a lot of information about what we do, how we raise our pigs. They're milk finished. We've got sheep that are 100% grass fed. Uh, my, I raise, uh, farm about 100 acres of vineyards in Marin County, mostly Pinot Noir. Dutton Goldfield and Sean Thackeray both make a vineyard designated Devil's Gulch Ranch Pinot Noir. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be able to show you how to cut up a rabbit.